Hi, compliments of the season to you. Yes, uh, we're approaching the end of the year and it's been God's grace. Um, it's been mercy. God has shown us so much grace. And everyone who has stayed with us from when we started to you, where we are right now, thank you so very much for trusting us, supporting us, believing in us. Thank you so, so very much for our esteemed subscribers. Thank you, our beautiful clients. Thank you, prospective clients. You know yourself, you are still doubting. Now, what's this boy doing? Should I consult him? I think uh, our result should speak louder. Very quickly this um, afternoon, I want to give uh, a basic uh, tip. And this tip uh, is the basic materials and activities uh, for a bungalow project from foundation to DPC. Yeah, the basic materials and activities that you need to execute the bungalow project from foundation to the DPC stage. The first thing you have to have is your land. The 100 by 100, the 50 by 100, I'm using Benin, I just it as a case study. That's how the lands are measured. But if you go to Lagos, you have 300 square meter, 600 square meter, 500 square meter, and the rest of others. But using a dusted as a case study, 50 by 100, yes, on a 50 by 100, you can actually build a very beautiful four bedroom bungalow, standard four bedroom bungalow. You can also build five bedroom bungalow, standard. And if you want to go on a duplex, that's enough for another video. But I'm just saying that uh, all you need, the first thing, um, basic materials and activities to executing a bungalow project from foundation to DBC, the first thing is your land. Number two, your architectural design. You need an architectural design to know ah, what kind of aesthetic do I want in my project? How do I want... Um, the outside should look like the exterior part. How do I want the roof to look like? Do I want inner roofing? Do I want um, the usual shingles and step ties and the rest of them? Your architectural design will help you identify the proper dimension. What should be the size of the living room? What should be the size of the master's bedroom? What should be the size of the, um, the convenience, the washroom? the laundry, and lights of others. Number three, start molding your blocks. So depending on um, the kind of house you want to build, you get a point. Um, you can just peg your budget at 3,000 blocks, depending on the nature of what you want to build. But you can peg your mind at 3,000 blocks. Um, the next is get sharp sand, materials you need, Yes, get sharp sand. Also, you need a granite. Yeah, you need a granite on your sides. The granite, as we proceed, I will tell you when we get to the aspect of activities, I will tell you what you actually need the granite for. So you need a granite on your side. So you can equally get uh, probably a 15 ton. You can get a 15 ton on your side to start with. The next is cement. Yes, you can get cement and um, on the average, um, you can budget between 50 to 57, 50 to 57 bags of cement. You can budget within 50 to 57 bags of cement, depending on your project. As some projects we've used 53, some will use 55, you get a point, depending on the size of your project. You get my point? Also, the next thing you need are rods. So you need uh, 12 mm rods, you need 8 mm rods. The numbers of rods you need is a factor of the kind of structure you want to erect, number one. Number two, the numbers of rods you will need is also a factor of the nature of the land. You get the point. So if I get to a place where probably the land, is the soil is so, so soft, you get the point then that means I have to also factor uh, some extra uh, pillars on that project. You get the point. So it is a factor of 
the nature of the project you want to build, also a factor of the land, the topography of the land. Then the next thing is you need woods. Yeah, you need woods to cast your pillars. You need woods to cast your pillars, that's board. And then there's one thing that we usually neglect a lot on the site is water. Please make provision for water. We neglect this one a lot. And at the end of the day, you realize the fact that your cement, your sand, your granite cannot work without that water. Make proper arrangement for your water. Also, that you need nails. Yeah, you need nails to board. You need nails to board um, the pillars. You need nails to board the pillars uh, for the foundation. You need binding wire. Yeah, you need binding wire to ensure that um, the pillars are standing firm. And um, the last materials you need is um, the pegging materials to start your project fully, the pegging materials. So what are the activities that will be happening on the site? The first is when we get to the site, yes, we clear, we clear the site and see, okay, fine, um, the site is free from storms. But if we have storms on the site, the first thing we do with the storms, we remove those roots on the site. As soon as we're done doing that, we um, engage ourselves into the setting out. Now, the setting out is uh, making use of the pegging materials that we bought to ensure that we have proper dimensions as what we have on the design, and that's what we are also erecting on the site as well. And then the next we have is excavation. So we start digging, we start digging the foundation, and we're going to blinding. So the blinding is um, mixing of concrete, sand, cement, and water to have uh, a proper firmness on the foundation. And the next is the block work. So we erect the block work from foundation to the DPC stage. And then when we're done with that, then you have the carpenter come on board on site to use those woods that were bought earlier to board the pillar. You have the steel guys, that's the iron benders. The steel guys come, tie the rods on the site as well to ensure that we have the rods right in the board or the woods that have been um, actually bordered by the carpenter and then we cast the pillar. With these activities, trust me, your building project is already a success. But guess what? How will all these things that I've said come to fruition without the help of a project manager? And this is why you need me on your side. Trust me, all the things that I've listed can be achieved within the space of two, three days with effective project management. And this is what the Olenovic solution is presenting to you. Trust us with your project and for sure we will deliver your project for you. Our contact is open 70 Thank you so, so very much for your support. If you're yet to subscribe to our YouTube channel, if you're meeting us for the very first time, kindly hit the subscribe button right about now to enjoy the beautiful things that we're presenting to you. My name is Sir Victor Ulisse. Compliment of the season to you.